It's time for the sandbox news. This week, there are a ton of updates to Hammer Editor, including Hammer add-ons and cloud materials. There are no updates to Construct this week. The leaderboards have been updated again. There's new histograms. So if we go into the leaderboards, we have this graph showing everyone's scores. We can see the X value is the score and the Y value or the height is how many people have reached that score. So if I go into stud jump, for example, we can see a ton of people have gotten up to about 35, 33-ish score and then quit. I think this is a big obstacle in the game where a lot of people would tap out. Up here is the next biggest hurdle and then there are a few winners. Now, I think all these profile pictures on here are your Steam friends. I'm not really sure. I don't really check Steam that often, but I'm pretty sure I recognize some of these as Steam friends. It doesn't show you any information when you mouse over it. So it's kind of a mystery who is who, unless if you already know. On the other category for stud jump, you can see this is the experience. Looks like I have a ton of experience and basically nobody else has any. It looks like the creator of the game has to turn on the histograms. We can see they're not here for Boomer. There are new cloud materials in Hammer. You have to open the new experimental asset browser under view, toolbars, asset browser test, and then click on asset party and you should see cloud materials, I think. Uh, this is actually my first time trying to look at this, so I'm not entirely sure where to find them. Oh, here we go. So I have to set the type to material, and here we have it. This is similar to an asset store, except currently everything is free. I would be a little careful on what you get from here, because currently you don't actually know if these are properly licensed materials or if they're stolen from somewhere. And if you end up using stolen assets, they might get removed and then you'll have errors in your map. Let's try wood ply HS02A. So I double click it to download it. Let's try a couple others, Roblox stud, wooden board. And I should be able to apply the materials in game. Looks like this material is not set up to be at world scale. Let's try wooden board. Oh, that's weird. I have to double click on the material in the asset browser to actually change my active material. That's so goofy. This asset browser is still a work in progress test, so it's not finished yet. It looks like this material isn't set up to be at world scale either. Let's try Roblox stud. This looks about right. So if I want to put Walter White in my map, here he is. Let's try this other material. So this is a hotspot wood material. It doesn't look like the hotspot is actually working. That's kind of weird. Maybe this material either isn't set up properly or because this is still an early work in progress, it was just implemented. Maybe the hotspot definition file doesn't get uploaded. I made a material myself and to upload it, I think all that you have to do is click publishing in here, set an organization and click upload. Uh, I need to add a summary and there it is. I think I probably have to make it public on the Sandbox website. Yeah, by default, the visibility starts as hidden and I have to click release. Now, if I go back into Hammer and find, uh, do I have to refresh this somehow? Maybe I have to either restart Sandbox or restart Hammer in order to see new recently uploaded materials. I don't see a refresh button anywhere. Okay, I'm back in and now we can see the material I uploaded. So this is a hotspot material. I should be able to just apply the hotspot. And there it is. This lovely, beautiful hotspot material I made. This is really cool. And the other one, um, I don't know why it's glitching out like that. Oh, that's so strange. This cloud hotspot material worked. However, this one didn't. So it looks like this material's probably broken somehow. It's showing as a missing texture in the browser but I can apply it just fine. Anyways, that's really cool. Cloud materials for Hammer. That's epic. You can now make more advanced add-ons for Hammer. Hammer map nodes have been exposed in the API. Now, from my understanding, this allows you to create meshes and entities through add-on code. Now, we can't do anything crazy complicated like this yet. However, we might be able to in the future. I'm not entirely sure the full extent of this, However, it's a great step towards a fully moddable level editor. If you haven't heard, I'm hosting a sandbox game jam, the Halloween Horror Super Jam. It's running October 21st through October 29th. Anyways, that's it. That's all the updates this week. Like, comment, and subscribe.